Hey everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. It's summertime, it is the end of August, it is hot, folks, it's 2023. We've had a hot summer, we all know this, right? Well, we picked today, actually. Today is August 24th, for reference, so that you could go back if you really wanted to and see how hot it got in Eureka, Missouri today, but they did uh, predict anywhere from 100 to 101. So we are in the brand new Alliance RV Delta 262 RB travel trailer. We're out on the lot, asphalt lot, full sun. It is currently 11.14 a.m. So we came out here this morning, we let the air, we're in a vehicle, we're in this particular vehicle because it's a 262, means it's not necessarily that big. And it's actually got two air conditioners on it. There's an air conditioner in the bedroom, there's an air conditioner in the ceiling here, I've got ducted air right here. Um, we started it last night, so we're trying to do kind of a real world, world example here of can these air conditioners keep up on a super, super hot day in full sun, you know, because at first we're like, wow, that's a pretty small camper with two airs. Well, today's a great day to find out why that is such a benefit, right guys? So we're plugged into a 50 amp outlet, just like we would be at a campground. We started the air conditioners last night so that this morning we would be sitting at, we set it at 70 degrees, which is where it is, oh, 71 right now. But we set it at 70 degrees and this morning came out and started a time-lapse camera shot at about 9.25. And so at 9.25 in the morning, it was 70 degrees in here, just like it would be if you were camping, you know, it would have caught up overnight, right? Um, throughout the day, so uh, it's, what did I say? It was 11.16 a.m. right now. So this has been going for about two hours now. Um, and we're gonna come out here and check on it throughout the day. Um, and see where we're at. So currently it's 92 degrees outside, 63% humidity with a 106 degree uh, heat um, index, all right? And our thermostat up here is set at 70 and it shows the temperature. So if I wanna see what it's set at, I can hit the button here and it says it's set at 70. Uh, it's flashing, so if I hit it again, it would go up to 71 or down to 69. So then it reverts back to whatever the real temperature is. So we can see right now it's 70 degrees. A second ago it went up to 71 and went back down to 70, right? Um, but what we're gonna do here is we're gonna run this time lapse all day and see how well these air conditioners can keep up. We're gonna come out and check on it a few times, just like you would open and close your door normally and things like that. Uh, we are in absolute full sun um, and on a black asphalt parking lot. So our circuit, our, our, we've got really the worst conditions here. Uh, full disclosure is as the sun comes up, there was probably a little bit of shade this morning on the vehicle, um, but we'll be in full sun here for the rest of the day. Uh, just like you would, we've got our shades pulled, because if you're camping and it's this hot outside, you need to pull your shades to help this air conditioner work uh, the best it can, right? Um, this is brand new, so we do have clean filters and things like that as well. That's another thing, you know, make sure your filters are clean. It's amazing. Um, we'll do a little video on that because, I mean, I go camping twice. It's amazing how much um, dust and stuff it, I'm vacuuming out of my filters on, on the intake of my air conditioner, which is just making it not work quite as well, right? So anyway, we're gonna check on this a few times. There we go, we're up to 92 outside. It's at 71 here, but I can hear the compressor kind of kicking off and us. We'll see what happens. We'll see how well it does. The reality is this, guys, an air conditioner does what? It blows out air 20 degrees cooler than the air that's going in, all right? So, you know, if, if it was 130 degrees in here and we started that air conditioner, it would certainly take it a while to catch up and get to where it is today. In order to keep it working as efficiently as I can, pulled shades, you know, we'll open the door a few times, but we wouldn't certainly leave the door wide open, right? That's what we don't want to do on a day like today because it does matter. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. We'll check back in a couple hours. Wow, that's all I got to say is wow. Like I almost wore out the word wow before Mike hit the camera because this is like a real wow moment. First of all, if I look a little sweaty, it's because I walked 100 feet from that air conditioner to this air conditioner because it's 101 degrees outside right now. And in here, it's 71 degrees. It is 113. So 113 in the afternoon, we're in 
full, full, full sun, you guys. Well, pretty much, there's a couple campers next to us. Um, but it is 101 real degrees outside and 71 degrees inside the Alliance RV Delta 262 RB travel trailer slash mobile walk-in cooler. So, but for real, you guys, this is amazing. This is great. This is what we were hoping was gonna happen. So we're gonna check in again at about three o'clock and see how it's going. Now, what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna take a little walk outside because I just wanna show you guys our setup here so that you can see that this is valid and that we're not kidding around here and that this is a, this is a real test. We've never done anything like this. I mean, it's, you know, we're going in and out a couple times, you know, in the real world, you might open and close the door a little more, um, but it is, uh, I'll just give you a little peek. You know, we're right next to another RV. We're in a prep area here at Byerly. The um, temperature gauge right there, that's something I actually use in my camper. This thing is absolutely awesome. I bought it at Cabela's, um, not a commercial or an endorsement. I'm just telling you in case you want one. Um, but it's really cool because it's got this inside sensor and then it's got a rain gauge that I modified so I can set it on top of my camper. And then it's got an outside temperature gauge and it's got a lightning detector, which is really cool because I was camping in South Carolina and I'm standing outside and the door was open. I hear something beeping. I'm like, oh great, what's beeping now? <laughs> if you know, you know. But anyway, <laughs> and I go inside and it's this thing detecting lightning 17 miles away. So anyway, we're gonna walk just outside. This was unplanned, so Mike's just going with the flow here. Um, and uh, I just wanna show you. If the, so let's see, if the camera doesn't fog up as we come out here like our glasses do, okay, um, I'm gonna close this back up. Why? Because I don't wanna leave the door open. Why? Because hot air's going in and cold air's going out and it's gonna make that air conditioners work a little bit harder, okay? So here we are, we're in a prep area here at Byerly RV where we uh, get things ready. We are plugged in over here to 50 amp electrical service. And that little temperature gauge I'm using has a little sensor that says hanging in a tree about six feet off the ground or so. So that sensor's actually right here in this little tree. I put it in the shade, because yesterday I accidentally put it over here and it was like 116, and obviously it's not that hot. It's only 101, only 101 out here. And then we'll just kind of walk this way, just so that you guys can see kind of where we're at. We are on a black asphalt parking lot. It is, there are no clouds in the sky. It is 101 degrees, and we're just kind of parked in between these things here, and here is our brand new Delta by Alliance RV. If you guys aren't familiar with Alliance RV, get familiar with Alliance RV. These things are great. Okay, let's check back in in a couple more hours. Okay, it is a few minutes after three in the afternoon, and I have borrowed one of these infrared uh, temperature guns from one of the technicians uh, because I wanted to see how hot the pavement is right now. So we know that when we went inside at one o'clock, it was 101 out here um, in the shade in that tree over there. So let's take a look at the pavement here, you guys, and see what this says. There you go. 142.5 degrees Fahrenheit on the pavement. I used to be in the restaurant business. There's this little rule, it's called the 4140 rule. If your food temperature is below 40 degrees or above 140 degrees, that's what we call food safe temperature because bacteria can't grow. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> that's how hot it is out here on the pavement. I guess that's like literally fry an egg safely. Anyway, let's go check out the temperature inside the Delta right now. Okay, everybody. Yes, sweating again because this time we walked 100 feet and filmed that little video outside. But now we're inside. We can see here it is 3.04 p.m. Oops, well, I just bumped our little camera for our next uh, uh, little shot there. It's 3.04 p.m. It is 105 degrees in the little tree outside. It is a 123 degree heat index. It is a 142 degree pavement. And in here, guys, it is 74 degrees. That is literally, this is as good as it gets, folks. 
I mean, as good as it gets. I don't know in the 17 years that I've been doing this that I've ever seen a camera that could keep up at 105. Literally, my entire career, this day is the example when I tell you about the limits of your air conditioner. <laughs> because your air conditioner has limits, right? And we kind of talked about that. What is it? Well, the air conditioner is supposed to blow out 20 degree cold air than what it's taking in, right? Well, let's take a look real quick at what this air conditioner is putting out. Oh, real quick, before I do that, we've had it set at 70 degrees all day. You're saying to yourself right now, it's not 70, Dave, it's 74. What are you talking about? It's 105. Oh, sorry, it's only 104 now. It's 104 outside and it's 74 in here. Let me say that again. It's 104 degrees outside and it's 74 inside this camper. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. Now granted, again, why are we doing it in the Delta 262 RB? Because it's one of the smallest trailers we have that has 50 amp electrical service and two air conditioners and a lot of other things. Be watching for a full video on this thing. So this isn't just every camper. This is the Alliance RV Delta 262 RB 2024 model, okay? And it can sit, I can tell you confidently, it can sit in full sun in 105, we're back up to 105, 105 degrees, 142 degree pavement. It's 74 degrees in here, guys. That is absolutely amazing. Let's check and see what's coming out of this vent. Our little uh, thing from outside. There you go. 57 degree air, 56, 55, okay, 54. 54, 74, easy math, folks, 20 degrees. See how that works? But we've kept our shades closed. We've gone in and out a few times. But guys, full sun, no shade, 140 degree, two degree pavement. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Well, that video couldn't have worked out much better than it did. We didn't know going in what was gonna happen. This was not planned as far as we just knew it was gonna be a hot day, uh, but we had no idea uh, if that Delta was going to be able to keep its temperature up. The idea behind the video was, well, it's 50 amp electrical service, two air conditioners, it's a small camper, and we're about to have one of the hottest days ever. Let's see what'll happen. Well, you guys saw what happened. That was really, really cool. I just wanna give you the kind of the details. You know, the official high temperature in St. Louis on August 24th, 2023 uh, was, 101 degrees. You can see on our video that out on the asphalt parking lot, it got a couple degrees hotter than that ambient air temperature uh, where we were. Uh, we tried to show how we were in pretty much full sun. It does get a little shade as the sun comes up in the morning, um, but then it's full sun with a couple campers right beside it. But um, pretty bad conditions there, you know, as far as trying to see what an air conditioner, you know, putting an air conditioner in an RV in some of the most challenging conditions that it can be in, right? Um, we went out into the vehicle, as you saw, we started, we went into the vehicle once at about 9.20ish to start the video. We went in again at 11, one and three, so the door was opened four times during the day. Um, just to be right up front about that, you may or may not open that door a little bit more. Obviously, your performance will be a little bit different and things like that. But, you know, that was absolutely amazing. That was beyond expectations. I mean, I know my camper, if it's 100 plus degrees outside, it's 80 something in my camper. And I'm actually pretty happy at that moment, but I've got a 24 foot camper with a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. This camper, the Delta, wasn't a whole lot bigger than that with two air conditioners, okay? And we saw what that did. That was pretty amazing, you guys. Really, really was, and again, that could have gone either way. If it would have got up to like 86 degrees in that thing, well, we wouldn't have done a video then. <laughs> you know, we wanted to be fully up front. It was really cool. We ran that time lapse all day. So we started it and then we actually, uh, after that last time we checked in on it, we let it keep going. So if you want to see the full uncut time lapse, it's going to run after the sing out on this video. So it's kind of like after the credits. So um, take a look at that if you're interested. You can see the full time lapse. We actually let it go all night long and stopped it the next morning. So it's pretty cool. Again, guys, that is the Alliance RV Delta 262 RB. Somebody told me, man, you're gonna ruin every other camper. I'm like, I didn't do that. Alliance RV did it. I can't help it. <laughs> but that it doesn't, it's it just, it, it exceeds expectations, you know? And then, hey, right? 
you gotta love it. I literally pointed that temp gun at the air conditioner and it was 20 degrees colder than what was ambient air. That's exactly what we talk about. And that was, again, unplanned. It just worked out that way, luckily, right? Anyway, couldn't have gone much better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up so we know what kind of videos to keep doing and things like that. Give it a share if you like it. Um, and, uh, you know, check out our Byerly RV YouTube channel for more great stuff like this and more. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and stick around for that full time lapse.